Welcome to today's Big Brother Over the Top updates and spoilers. Our house guest of the day is Gelsey Kane. What's up, girl? Thanks so much for your support on Patreon. I hope you're enjoying this season. And uh, if you guys want to be house guests of the day like Gelsey, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. All right, so this is a fun one, guys. There's a lot of good stuff in here. So yesterday, uh, it started off pretty low-key. But that's okay, because it's going to get crazy. So the house guests were pretty much just waiting around for the safety ceremony to start. They were also wondering who America's going to nominate. But they still haven't really figured out um, how rigid this schedule is yet. So they didn't realize that they weren't going to know who America nominated until this morning. But anyway, it was time for the second safety ceremony. And Alex, up to the HOH room over the next five minutes. Four y'all mofos will be safe. So in order, they were Shelby... Shelby, Justin, Monty, and Scott, which means that Danielle and Shane are up for eviction this week. And oh my god, they freaking... Okay, everybody was hanging out in the kitchen waiting for the ceremony to go down. And Danielle and Shane, when they found out they were nominated, they freaking booked it out of that kitchen before Alex could even rejoin the group. Ma'am, I'm gonna need you to settle down, please. This is like Dancing with the Stars. I'm Ryan Lochte and Minnie is like the intruder. But anyway, <laughs> yeah, they got the hell out of there. So they go to the London room. Alex is walking down the stairs to rejoin everyone. And she didn't want to make like this grand speech like Monty tried to do. But she was saying like it wasn't personal. They're big competitors. And Danielle and Shane could hear uh, what she said. And they're like, we don't want to hear no speech. So Shane was saying... It will be personal next week, but because he's vowing that whichever one of them is still around next week, they're going to go after Alex, and they're going to take her out. So, um, then Shane is saying this was a stupid move by Alex, and she, are you kidding me? And she should have put up a pawn from her own side. Um, no, I'm going to have to agree with Alex on this move. If you're going to go after a showman, you got to put both of them up, because... They could very easily win the veto and take the other one off if only one was up. So, like, no. Stop it. She did the right thing. Um, but Danielle is like, oh, well, I think Alex made this move for Shelby. No! She made it for herself! Shelby is, like, the new scapegoat, though. Shelby is the new Scott. Lulu! Okay, so... They're really relying on America this week. They're hoping that America will nominate either Monty or Scott, and then hopefully they'll have the votes to get rid of them. All right, so Shelby and Morgan overhear Danielle asking America to put up Monty and Scott, or Scott, and they start begging America not to put up Monty or Scott. They're like, please put up somebody from that other side of the house. Give us a break. Like, be on our side for once. We'll see. Okay, so then... Alex and Scott are having a game chat on the hammock, and Alex is like, all right, Scott, uh, if Shane and Danielle stay up on the block, who would you vote out? So Scott says, well, ideally, I'd want to vote out Danielle. I think she's the bigger threat, but he's going to do whatever she wants. So Alex is like, yes, good answer. And it reminded me of Family Feud. My favorite part of Family Feud is when somebody gives, like, the shittiest answer ever, but the family is just like, Ugh. good answer, good answer. <laughs> like, this is what we gotta work with? This is the crap you give us? But no, she was happy with his answer. <laughs> so then, uh, Shelby joins them out by the hammock, and they discuss, again, how Scott was dragged into that whole Monty-Justin racism drama, and they're like, we know that you were not responsible for that. You were the scapegoat. It's okay. And Scott's like, yeah, well, I really feel most betrayed by Shane. He kind of hints at the four guys alliance with Shane, Monty, Cornbread, and himself in so many words, um, but then he's saying, like, I know that Danielle was really the one who blew up that whole situation, which is why another reason he wants to get her out. So then Scott is telling Alex and Shelby, I'm never going to turn on you guys. You are my go-tos. You're my rat or dies. And he says that he's going to start bouncing every idea off of them in the future because he realized that he sucks at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Scott, but he really did mess up this week. Um, so the house. This is crazy, guys. This is only week two, and this house is truly divided straight down the middle right now. We've got six on one side, six on the other. So <laughs> Monty, Shelby, and Morgan were all talking crap about the late night crew. They were in the bathroom. Late night crew was outside. And they're like, oh, Danny's been playing the race card. She's got no class. She's stuck up. 
Um, and then Monty, of course, he, he's got to say every five seconds that he's not a racist, and they're just, like, making him out to be one. And his reasoning for this, first of all, he's saying, like, he's, you know, there's nothing wrong with him, and they just, like, pick this out of a hat to, like, give him some sort of fault or whatever. But he's saying they're calling him a racist because he goes to bed early and they all hang out late at night, so he must be a racist. Oh, no, honey. <laughs> if you want to keep thinking that, go ahead, but no. So then outside, at the same time, we've got Chrissy leading this tirade against Monty. She's pissed because she found out that Monty told Shane that he doesn't like her. And she's like, what reason did I give him to not like me? <laughs> there could be some reasons there, but we'll leave it. And uh, Chrissy's saying that he just doesn't like her because she's different. And then she's bringing up some bullcrap that Monty said. This is disgusting. Apparently, Monty said that he like runs over squirrels like with his car for fun. He's like, oh, I love like smashing their skulls in the road or something. Like, what the frig is wrong with you? Are you friends with Corey from last season? What the hell is that crap? So then, uh, I'm gonna move on because I'm disgusted, but he's saying that Jason is a sexist and Chrissy's like, uh, he's the one who's trying to get with a girl who has a boyfriend, meaning Morgan. Um, and then Chrissy's like, you know, all of that aside, <laughs> I don't want America to nominate Monty because she's not sure that they would have the votes to get rid of him. So she would rather see somebody like Scott go up because she thinks that both sides of the house will like unite against him and get rid of him. Who knows? Okay, so then Jason, Justin, Neely, and Chrissy were in the backyard a little later on last night talking more crap about Monty. And then eventually the focus shifts onto Shelby. <laughs> You're driving me crazy right now. The focus shifts onto Shelby. So Jason decides that he's going to get all the little, you know, they get those like mini chocolate bars from the uh, storage room. He gets all of them out of there. He's sifting through and taking out all of the crackle bars because those are Shelby's favorite. He puts them in like a freaking garbage bag and hides them in the workout room. <laughs> that is freaking diabolical. You do not mess with someone's chocolate. All right, so this morning, uh, it's time for America's nominee reveal. Da -da 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 it's Monty, but of course he knew. He was like, oh yeah, uh, I knew that was gonna happen. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll get it. They're just like testing me or whatever. They wanna see me compete. <laughs> okay, so then it's time to draw POV players. So of course we've got Alex competing as the HOH. We've got the three nominees, Shane, Danielle, and Monty. And then we've got two extra players, Scott and Shelby. And just in case you were wondering, Shelby was Alex's choice because she drew her own name. All right, so right after the ceremony, there was some freaking drama because apparently as she was walking in to sit down for the ceremony, uh, Shelby was like, she made some comment about sitting on the normal couch um, and Jason didn't like that. So after the ceremony was over, he was like, oh yeah, uh, the normal couch. Oh, sorry, that's New York, whatever. He said, the normal couch? Uh, Shelby, I'm tired of all your little comments. So then she's like, what are you talking about? <laughs> so then, uh, a few minutes later, they're in the kitchen together, and Shelby's like, you know, I'm superstitious about the couches, I always sit on the same one, and Jason's like, really, hookah? <laughs> really, that's what you're gonna go with? You're afraid one of the couches is cursed? He's like, no, you didn't want to sit on the couch with me, Chrissy, and Justin. She's like, I didn't even know that there was an open spot on that couch. And Jason's like, well, I'm tired of you rolling your eyes and scrunching up your nose at everyone. Um, and he's saying, like, even your friends are saying it. And Shelby's just like, oh, okay, is that right? Is that right? So then Shelby tells him, you go change your clothes, because he's still wearing his pajamas, and he was going to put on his civilian clothes for the day. And Jason's like, and you keep wearing that dress with a t-shirt. <laughs> she was wearing, like, this blue t-shirt with, like, a burgundy slip dress thing. I don't know what that was, but I wouldn't wear that. Whatever. To each their own. Okay. So yeah, that was pretty crazy. So both sides of the house, uh, you know, they split up into their sides again. They're both saying they need to win the veto. Blah, 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 blah. It's the same bullshit we hear all the time. So we've got Jason, Justin, Neely, Chrissy, Shane, and Danielle all hanging out in the bathroom area. And then we've got Alex, Morgan, Monty, Whitney, Scott, and Shelby in the HOH room. It's just like, damn, I can't believe there's that clear of a divide right down the middle of the house 
this early in the season. This is what we ask for every year, and we finally got it on this, like, effed up fall season. <laughs> yes! Okay. So, at 2, I'm oh, sorry, at 12.26 p.m., the doorbell rings, ding dong, it's Jeff Schroeder! Who? Uh, some of them didn't know who the hell he was, meaning, like, Shelby, she was, just, she was like, who are you? <laughs> what are you doing here? He's like, uh, my name is Jeff and I'm here to host the veto. And then everybody else comes in and they're like, oh my God, it's Jeff. Sorry, Justin. I was really looking forward to him hosting the veto, but maybe next time. So they're all taking Jeff on a tour around the house. He's trying out the phone. He's checking out the have not room. He's saying it could be worse. I agree. Uh, and then, you know, he hangs out with them for a few minutes. He's like, what's going on? Like, I saw you got in a little fight with Shelby. What's that all about? Well, guess what? Shelby and Jason are pretty much fine now. As fine as they can be. You know they, like, love, hate each other. But anyway, <clears throat> it's time for the veto competition, and it is a golf theme. We did see them practicing with that giant mallet and the big golf ball. And guess what? <gasps> There's punishments. Okay, so this is how it's set up. So basically, they have a choice of four different holes. <laughs> that sounds so bad. So... There are different uh, difficulty levels, and the points correspond with that. So there's a 5 point, 10 point, 15 point, 30 points. So basically, they're playing this in rounds. Everybody putts, or what a golf? I don't know, golf words. They putt, and uh, you got to get points to buy either a veto, the veto or a punishment from the board. So basically, everything is a punishment except for the veto with degreeing uh, harshness, varying degrees of harshness. That's, all right. So <laughs> I'm not gonna get into the play-by-play -play for this because there was like a million rounds. This competition took about an hour because most of them were going for the 30 over and over and over again and the balls kept going in the pool. Ah! So Shelby was the first one to cash out at 20 points and she got the caddy costume, which she'll be wearing for a week. She also has to lug around these golf clubs. That's gonna be fun. Uh, Shane was the first one to 60 points, which made him the veto winner. So he's gonna be taking himself off the block this week. And then the next one out, Danielle, she bought the punishment water hazard. So for the next week, she's gonna have to fish these golf balls out of the pool every time Big Brother tells her to. That sucks. But actually, compared to some of the other ones, not that bad. Alex was the next one to, to cash out. Uh, she decided to go with a disadvantage in the next HOH competition that she competes in. So, like, even though she's not in the next one, the next one that she is in, she it's, it almost sounds like she's going to have to wear beer goggles or something or, like, do shots before because they were talking about, like, something with drinking. I don't know. It was called, like, the 19th hole or something, which is apparently a bar at a golf course. So, Scott and Monty, it came down to the two of them. Um... Scott, he got some points, and he got the punishment. Uh, he's restricted to a sand pit in the backyard for 24 hours. He's only allowed to go in the house for potty breaks, and if he's, like, hungry or whatever, he's got to ask other people to bring stuff to him. Um, uh, ew, that sucks. But Monty's really sucks. If he's still around next week, he cannot compete in the next veto competition. Ah! All right. Again, that's if he's around. I don't know. He's up on the block. So the power veto ceremony is tomorrow. I'm assuming Shane is going to use it on himself, but you never know. He could be like, I'm going to use it on Danielle, but we'll see. Uh, let me know in the comments who you guys think slash what will go up on the block as a replacement. And uh, until tomorrow, much love.